we're going to show people how to do slash and dash. So if you don't know how to spell a word, we make sure that you have all of the sounds in the word, all of the sounds in each syllable, and then you find it in the Franklin. Got ah, okay. that? Got the drill. Okay. So here's your first word, and before you do the slashes, let's do it with your fingers. So, uh -huh. okay. Uh, your first one is chiropractor. Chiropractor. Great. So four syllables. Okay. And say the syllables as you make the slashes. Chiropractor. Perfect. Okay. Now the dashes. So What's the first? I. R. O. P. A. T. R. Let's try this one again. So this is K I. R. O. P. R. A. K. P. P. R. A. A K. T. R. R. Great. Okay. So. Okay. K. As in. Key. Mm -hmm. I thought we were doing pyro. Chiropractor. Chi chiropractor. K as in key. P as in pencil. Wait. Chi. I Sorry, I keep That's losing okay. I, I as in ice cream for ice cream. Right. Wow, this has a bad tip. Yeah, we'll get a different one. In a minute. I, I roll. Listen. So, er, as in er, bird. Er. No, no. Er, rabbit. Rabbit. Um, o. O as in um. Oak. Oak. Yeah, oak leaf. Good. Um. Now we've got prat. Prat. P -p as in pencil. Er. Bur. As in bird. Yeah, it's in rabbit. Rabbit. A as in apple. K as in. Um. K as in key. K as, as in, in key. key. Good for you. Um. <laughs> As in table, er, as in rabbit, no, as bird. As in bird. Remember, that's the one when there's a vowel there and you don't hear it. It's the bossy er. Yep. It controls that R. It's like a girlfriend. And she's holding hands with her boyfriend and her boyfriend can't talk. Okay. That's what that's what that bossy er does to this. All right. Great, you wrote all of the sounds. Now let's see. If you type it in, and obviously now you're going to have to type it in in T-O, so, so you've got K first. I-E-R-O-E. P. Um, R-A-K-T-R. Chiropractic. Well, it's close. It says chiropractic. Uh, did you have other choices? Can you go back one? Yeah, I accidentally hit enter twice, so I think it went straight. Okay. Um, Just go down to when you think it might be. Try that one. Chiropractors. Okay, Not so quite. we got plural. Chiropractors, we have the plural. Keep going down. How about this one? Oh, there it is. Try that one. Chirographic. Nope, not. So the closest we get is chiropractors, Which right? is just plurals. Yeah, so why don't you go back up to that one and use that one to write it here. Oh, there's, here, the very first one. Chiropractor. Okay. Oh, it just sounded weird. It may sound weird, but that is the word, isn't it? Yeah. Chiropractor. So now write it the way it is in T.O. Okay, so, um. I 
Okay. Okay, what do you notice about that k sound? It is a combination of C and H. Yeah, do you know why it's this combination of C and H says k? Yeah. Yeah, because k, you actually see it quite common in words. Actually, when you see one that has a CH and it sounds like k, it's Greek. It's ah. a Greek word. Now you know Greek. All right? Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Do you want to hold that up so people can see that for? Okay, good. Okay, Luke, so we've done this before. You're going to do slash and dash to show people how, if you don't know how to spell a word, you're not going to spell it with missing syllables or sounds, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so your first word is opposition. Let's count the syllables on your fingers first. Opposition. So you're going to need four, right? Four syllables. Opposition. Uh, Good. Now let's go back and do the sounds. Ah. Uh, uh, po. So what are the sounds? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Z. Z. Z, 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 I, shun. Sh, ah. uh, mm. Mm, good. Okay, now let's find them. Ah, as in? Apple. Listen, uh, is it ah, apple, or ah, ostrich, or ah, excuse me, ah, octopus? Ah, apple, ah, ostrich. Ostrich. Yep, that's the one you hear. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be saying that one, although you could put that in. Ah, uh, octopus. Octopus? Mm-hmm. P. Po. P. Pencil. Mm-hmm. O. Ah, uh, po. What's the next vowel? What's the next syllable? Sun. Is it z sun or z zebra? Zebra. Yep. I. Insect. Mm-hmm. Sh. Shoe. Sh. Yep. What's your next sound? Uh, umbrella. No. Yep. Opposition. A. Uh. Nail. Nail. Okay. Let's see if that finds it. Opposition. So did you typed in, okay, uh, O-P-O-E, did you type in or just an O? I think I typed in O-E. Okay, just, okay, and now hit say, oops, you go up and hit say over on the left. Opposition. That's it. Okay, so for the long vowel sound in ITA, even though that's O-E combined, when you put them in as O-E, it's still finding it. Mm -hmm. Good, okay, write what it looks like. So notice, when you're writing by sound, you have a, uh, po, only one P. When you're writing in traditional orthography, you have two P's, okay? And the reason for that is because if you didn't have this second P, this A uh, would say O, O position. But because it's A, uh, that P is closing it in and keeping it, it short, okay? And that's why we use the, the double consonants. So Brandon, your first uh, word is, and I'm not sure this dictionary is going to find it, but we'll try. Neophyte. Neophyte. Okay, listen. 
knee oh fight. Put your fingers under your chin. Kneel fight. Put your fingers Three. under Kneel oh fight. Kneel knee fight. wait, just let's say it slower. Knee oh fight. It's a new word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Knee oh fight. Uh, okay. Yep, there's three. Knee oh fight. You want me to add that one right there, too? You're going to put that on the end? That's just fine if you do it that way. Then okay. you're going to start right here, aren't you? No. Otherwise, you start here. Okay. Knee. Nail. You don't, no. Oh, just yeah. do oh, the yeah. dashes. You forgot, oh, right? Two. Mm, e. e. Same as you dash e. it. E. L. No, knee, O. O. That's, that is the syllable. Knee, O, o. fight. I. I. T. T. Okay, now put the symbols there. N, as in? N, yeah. Mm -hmm. E, eagle. Knee, O. 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 I'm going to say oak. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say you're right. Fight. Fish. Mm-hmm. I. I. Um, ice cream. T. T. Wait, there's T. 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 Table. Yep. Table. Okay. So let's see if this dictionary can find it. That was a little tricky, wasn't it? Because mm -hmm. the second syllable had just an O sound. Knee, O, fight. Well, let's listen to it. Neophyte. Yep. It's, it sounds a little weird, but that is it. Neophyte. Okay. Good. You want to hold it up so people can see? Neophyte. Nice. Did a nice job on that.